Right, my name is uh, Gina Maino, and uh, I am uh, from uh, Savu Savu, uh, Vanua Levo, and uh, my mom is from the Garden Island of Fiji, uh, Taveuni, and I am the eldest of uh, four siblings, and um, I have uh, two children. Uh, my eldest uh, is, uh, will be turning four this year, and my uh, son, he will be, um, uh, he'll be two uh, next year. I would describe Terry uh, as a very kind and uh, humble man. Um, When I um, when I think of him, uh, I would uh, always think of uh, a verse in the Bible that um, sums up his life. Mm. And um, most of the time, um, um, when I try to um, um, I just um, uh, put together uh, this man that God uh, has blessed me. Um, I would think of this verse, and uh, it's in uh, Galatians chapter 5, uh, verses uh, 22 to 23. It uh, talks about the fruit of the Spirit. Yeah. And um, everything that's mentioned there um, uh, talks about him. Uh, he was full of love. Mm. always joyful um, such a humble peaceful man um, was kind um, gentleness um, he was uh, faithful very faithful and committed to um, to me and the kids and um, self-control every time when I think of him or if someone would uh, ask me the question, how would I describe him? I would describe him um, according to that verse, because um, to me, he portrayed um, the fruit of the Spirit throughout the entire time that I knew him. So, yeah, um, I would describe him as a man full of love, uh, joy and peace, a man who truly loves the Lord with all of his heart. And... Um, I was so blessed to uh, have known him and be part of his life. Yeah. My favorite memory of Terry would be uh, him recognizing the relationship that I had with my dad and my family. And he treasured that. Uh, so every once in a while he would uh, surprise me uh, with tickets coming back home to my family. So that was uh, one of the most, uh, I would say, uh, I would be uh, overjoyed and a memory that I truly um, um, honor him because it's very important to us female, uh, our family. So for him to recognize the relationship uh, uh, that I strongly had with my mom and my dad and my siblings and he, he made sure that every year I would visit my family. Uh, if I can recall well, I would come home uh, two to three times uh, coming back to Fiji. and. Um, uh, I truly uh, uh, am appreciative of that, and it's a memory that uh, um, give, it makes me smile every time I think of him, and because I, I believe um, nowadays it's very hard, especially when we get married. Uh, most people think that uh, you're married and you, you're supposed to just stay with, the, with, the, um, with your husband's family and you're just, you know, staying in that corner. But uh, for him to always acknowledge and always... Uh, um, you know, he he uh, he honors the, the fact that I was very close with my mom and my dad, uh, so that was a great memory of him. Yeah. I I treasure that. Yeah, I learned a lot of lessons from this man, um, and it is the fruit of the spirit. I would say, uh, for me, I uh, I believe uh, every one of us we uh, have our own struggles, and uh, for me, it was uh, being patient, and. Um, uh, and it was something that he taught me um, of, uh, you know, being patient. I would jokingly tell him, uh, you know, if the 
house gets burnt or something, you would be the last person because of how he just takes his time with everything. Uh, it was very, uh, yeah, so it was something uh, I would say that, um, uh, that he taught me uh, was uh, being patient. And uh, more importantly, uh, he was um, uh, matured in the Lord. So he really helped me most of the times uh, when I feel, um, feel uh, weak in my spiritual walk. Um, he was always there to help me, encourage me to um, better my relationship with Christ. That is something uh, that I, I would say that I was so, um, I'm grateful to God for this man because uh, every person that we choose to be our life partner is very important. Um, they can uh, build us or they can tear us down with our relationship with Christ. And for him to uh, build me up and uh, encourage me every time to better my relationship with Christ. In many, many ways, he would teach me on how to better my relationship with Christ. That is something uh, that I treasure about him. Okay, we, we got married in 2016, and uh, he passed away in 2020. So we were married for three years and seven months. I have two children, and uh, my eldest uh, is Bethany. Uh, when Bethany was um, uh, conceived, we were in Singapore at the time, and uh, I came over to Fiji to, um, uh, to uh, give birth. And um, I can clearly remember the day my uh, daughter uh, was born, and uh, um, he called and he, he said, um, darling, I, I want you to name our daughter and uh, for him to give me the honor to name our eldest. Uh, I was so grateful for that. Uh, and uh, so I named my daughter Bethany uh, because of the church that uh, my mom and dad pastor. It's uh, called Bethany. Um, Bethany AUG Church, and um, uh, it was the church uh, where I got molded and taught about a lot of things. I, um, it molded me to be uh, the woman that I am today, and um, so I named my daughter Bethany so that it could be a reminder to me every time I call her. And um, Bethany, uh, she was uh, two and a half years old when her father passed away. And um, my son, um, he was just uh, six weeks old when his daddy passed away. And uh, I'm glad that God gave us a son because um, now he can name him. And so he, he named uh, our, our son, um, he named him uh, Zion Matthew. Uh, he named him after, he named him after his uh, after his uh, late brother, uh, whom, whom was very close to him, and uh, his home uh, is now one year old and uh, four months. And um, uh, they are very beautiful children, I would say, very strong. Um, um, my daughter, Bethany, um, she uh, witnessed everything. Um, so uh, for me uh, to talk about them, uh, it's quite difficult. Um, as a mother, um, I can uh, see the sadness in my daughter from time to time. Uh, especially when uh, she hears other children uh, calling their, their daddy, and I could uh, see in her eyes that uh, she misses uh, her father. Uh, but she's a very strong uh, little girl. Uh, she's very uh, smart and intelligent. She knows that her father is, uh, has gone to be with the Lord. And uh, even though uh, it's hard for her to accept, many times she would cry. Uh, many times she would... Um, look for his pictures and uh, kiss and talk to it and hug it and she would say uh, things like daddy I miss you uh, daddy I love you mm. 
Terry uh, valued, um, I, I saw that he valued two main things in his life, and that was uh, God, his relationship with God, and uh, he valued his family. Uh, that was uh, two of the main uh, uh, important things in his life, I would say priority. Uh, yeah, he loved the Lord. Um, um, I actually brought something uh, with me um, because uh, I got inspired uh, seeing this, uh, his love for the Lord. And even though he was um, a cardiologist, even though he was a very busy man, a senior medical officer, but his love for the Lord um, is, uh, is just uh, too great, I would say. So can I show? I brought this little, sorry, man. Yes, yeah, so this is uh, um, Terry's little Bible. Yeah. He's got a lot more uh, uh, big uh, study Bibles, but this is uh, one of his favorite. And uh, he first had this Bible in 1995 uh, on the 12th of May. And you can see it's uh, quite torn. Uh, it's quite old. And I, I asked him this question, why do you still keep this uh, little Bible? And he said it was the Bible that he received um, uh, during his uh, years in medical school. And uh, it helped him uh, with his relationship with the Lord. Uh, this Bible had been with him from the time he gave his life to Christ. And this Bible, I would never see him uh, leave this Bible at home. Everywhere he went, he would take this Bible, even going out shopping. So before he would uh, step out of the house, the first thing that he puts into his pocket is this little Bible. And when he goes to work or flies abroad, I would never see this Bible being at home. He would take it everywhere. So he said that every time he would get a break from meetings, uh, from work, any time that uh, he sees, uh, he's got a small uh, time of uh, rest, he would turn to these Bibles and uh, feed his spirit. So uh, his relationship with the Lord was uh, something that was very important with him. For me to see him carrying this Bible from 1995 until uh, um, the day the Lord called him back home, uh, that's very inspiring, especially uh, uh, for a busy man. Uh, you know, most of us, we're not that busy, but uh, it's very hard for us to... Um, uh, you know, keep a relationship with the Lord intact. So he carries this Bible uh, with him uh, everywhere. Um, how did I met Terry? Um, I heard about Terry through a mutual friend, and uh, this was around in 2010. And um, uh, this friend uh, um, uh, talked about his best friend. And uh, in uh, October 2010, I got the first ever email uh, from Terry. And uh, uh, he wasn't a very romantic man, I would say. Um, from time to time, uh, we would email old school. Uh, we were not in a relationship at that time. Um, and um, four years after the first email, so in 2014 of November 28, um, he flew down to Fiji. And uh, that was the first time ever for me to meet him in person. And uh, we got to know each other um, for a very short time, for about a week. Um, and during this time, we were not in a serious relationship at all. We were just very good friends. And um, yeah, so um, I got to know him through a mutual friend. Uh, uh, for me to know him well, uh, it was just for 13 days. And on day, uh, day 12, he proposed to me. Yeah. So um, he proposed. Should I talk about that too? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah. So on day 12 of his visit to Fiji, um, he uh, asked me if I would like to go out on... Uh, uh, an early dinner, so we went out for an early dinner that day, and um, it was the day he proposed. And uh, this is uh, in a small Chinese restaurant in Savo Savo by the sea, um, where he proposed. And I can uh, still remember that night very clearly uh, when he um, 
when he asked me to be his wife, um, I was um, the t when when he proposed. I I remember that uh, because I was praying for a husband. You see, growing up in a Christian home, uh, we are taught and um, uh, we are told and explained of how important it is to find uh, a good partner in life. And uh, so from a very young age, I've been praying for um, my husband. So um, when he uh, proposed at that time, instantly, I felt in my spirit, um, um, it was the Lord convicting me and, and letting me know. It was very clear, the, the words that the Holy Spirit spoke to me at that time. And, and um, he said, the man that you've been praying for is sitting in front of you. And um, without a doubt, without you know thinking about it uh, more, without letting any minute pass by, I immediately say, yes, I will be your wife. And then I continued eating. Mm -hmm. And a few minutes after um, I said yes, I, you know, it hit me that, oh my goodness, what have I done? What have I said, you know? So, um, but deep down in my heart, I felt a peace that was unexplainable. And I couldn't understand it. I couldn't wrap my mind through it because... Uh, for a girl to say yes to a guy whom they've just met physically, face to face, for just 12 days, and for you to say yes, um, I couldn't understand. But I had a piece that was uh, beyond my explanation, beyond my thoughts right now, because um, uh, when I said yes, I, I knew that he was the one. Even though at the time I didn't know anything about his family, I didn't know if he was, if he was working, if he had a job, um, I didn't know all those information, but what I do know at that time was that um, I had peace and the Lord had told me that he was going to be my husband. So I said, yes, uh, walking back home or going back home that uh, evening was a very, um, uh, I would say, uh, nerve wracking walk for me because I was thinking of my parents. Uh, what would they say? Uh, but to my surprise, as we talked that night, they were at peace and um, they, they, they said, um, uh, we support your decision and uh, whatever you feel uh, and know uh, that is right. Uh, we, we know that uh, uh, we should support you and we know that uh, it's going to be okay. So um, two years after I said yes to him, um, here we were uh, facing each other um, in the land of the unexpected. And uh, we were saying a beautiful vows. Uh, surrounded by nature, and um, we had a beautiful uh, garden wedding. Um, and um, and even though it was uh, a very short time that I spent with him. Um, it was the best, the best, uh, I would say, best three and a half years of my entire life. Um, being with him, um, and I never regret um, marrying him uh, because he, um, he taught me so many great things. And more importantly, he, uh, he helped me a lot with my relationship with Christ. And um, so I never regret uh, getting married to this uh, man, even though we, we spent only uh, three and a half years together, uh, three, and, uh, three years and seven months rather, uh, but it was the best, happiest li uh, time of my life uh, being with him. Uh, yeah. We all uh, were brought up uh, in a Christian home, so the teachings were all the same, but our decisions is, is very important because you choose your own path, you see. So I thanked them for, for the teachings, and I told them, you know, Mom and Dad, when I went through that, I, I thank God for your life, for Mom and Dad, for teaching me um, the truth 
about God, that there is a God. He is alive. He is there. He sees and He hears and He answers. And I thank you for teaching me that and, and um, you know, being stuck there. I, I thought of all the teachings that you taught me and it became so real, so true. I remember telling my parents, I believe if you guys did not teach me about God or if I did not um, choose to have Christ in my life, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be, uh, um, I would say I wouldn't be alive uh, today because of the pressure that I had and um, the, um, just the, everything, the package of, of what I went through was, it felt like um, it was unbearable. But I believe that it was through Christ I was able to go through it, even though it was very difficult. I remember um, I, I thought about, I said, man, I believe if I did not serve the, uh, the Lord, I would have done something uh, that is not uh, good. And um, so I thank mom and dad for their teachings. And um, I believe, you know, many times our parents, they, they teach us uh, many great things. But it is our decision uh, that, um, that um, um, I would say, that um, makes us be, uh, that puts us in a place um, where we want to be or where we don't want to be. It is through our decision. Our decision every day is very important. And our parents can teach us many great things, but it is how we, um, you know, uh, accept and listen to their advices. So I thank them for, uh, for that. And I told my family uh, that day, you know, whatever mom and dad has teach us, has taught, taught us about God, make sure you treasure that because there will come a time in your life there will come a time in your life when mom cannot help you, when dad cannot help you, when your spouse cannot help you. There will come a time in your life when you face a mountain that is so high to climb and you have to face it alone. That's when their teachings comes in. That's when uh, um, your faith comes in, your faith in Christ comes in. So I, I encourage my uh, brothers and I also want to encourage uh, everyone um, that having a relationship with Christ is the best decision that you can ever have because with him on board with him in your life um, with him um, with him in you whatever life throws at you um, you can face it. Um, I believe that is the most. Um, people used to ask me how, you know, how you got so much strength. You were such a strong woman. The secret about that is because of Christ. And it's not about me because humans, we are limited. You see, our strength is limited. Um, our understanding is limited. Uh, but God, uh, he, he is supreme. He's, um, he's greater. So I would encourage uh, you uh, that uh, making that choice to have Christ in you is um, the greatest, I would say, the greatest decision any person can ever make.